Tony one time told me he wanted a, a real tall tree. I said, well, how tall? And he said, well, we've got a dog leg back here on the golf course. He took me back there and he showed me. He said, we've got to get a tall tree because these golf players are knocking the balls over them trees. They can't do that. They've got to go to the dog leg and go. And I said, well, I'm going to see what I can find. So I went out in the woods back home. And when I was back home there, I found a 94-foot tree. I measured it after we dug it because it was the tallest one I could find. And I got it down on the ground and I measured it 94 feet long. And it had a six and a half foot ball on it. Oh, and we had a tree truck that we picked it up and set it on the tree truck. And I brought it to Indianapolis. And, and when I got over here, Tony said, that's perfect. And he went back there and told Elmer or told Clarence and all of them, he said, right here is where I want that at. He said, I want it sitting right here because they, they got to go there and then there. So I want it right there. So. Clarence had a couple of his men and a couple of my boys, and we dug the hole nine foot across, mm -hmm. 30 inches deep, 32 inches deep. And then I set that tree down in there and set it up and spun it around just like Tony wanted it, because he wanted a good side to full on one part. He didn't care about the other side. And you set it down, and we had big uh, tire chains that uh, we hooked around the tree that goes on truck tires. We mm -hmm. put two or three of them together and put it around it, and we could spin that ball in that hole. And then we'd get it just where he wanted it and then set it up straight. Then we'd bury it and take all the rope Pretty off the top. Size. That's that's a lot of weight there that, if you got a ninety foot. You figure a ninety foot long sticking out the back of your truck. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I got stopped by the state boys. And it's the only time I ever had a permit. All the rest of the time I never had a permit. And, and that would probably back then it probably would uh, you would have got away no matter what anyway. Smithy and Brownie was the ones that was on the scales over there when I pulled in. And I knew, of course, it would give me a warning ticket every time I come through because the lights would be out or something would be wrong, you know. Right. So when they come in, they just shook their head. He said, Fred, you're in trouble. I said, why? And he said, our lieutenant's over there. He said, here he comes. He's going to go see everything you got. I said, ain't no problem, Smitty. Here. I just pulled out that permit that I had. I said, "Is that? would that get me through? The only time you ever had a permit, he said, <laughs> and that's it. He said, boy, you're, you're smart. He said, how'd you figure that out? I said, I didn't. I just told the boss one day we need a permit to get through here because they're going to stop me one of these days. Right. And that was the day, and I had a permit. 